Usually I'm motivated by pay, but this time I was motivated by showing people that a woman my age can still look good, feel good, be good, blah, blah, blah. Hi, I'm Martha Stewart, and I'm on the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue 2023. I am the author of 99 books, creator of Martha Stewart Living Magazine, mother of Alexis, Emmy Award-winning television performer, world traveler, proud grandmother of Jude and Truman, and founder of Martha Stewart Living Omnimedia. When I heard that I was actually going to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue, I thought, oh, well, that's pretty good. I'm going to be the oldest person, I think, ever on a cover of Sports Illustrated. And I don't think about age very much, but I thought that this is kind of historic and that I better look really good because I want other women to feel that they could also be on the cover of Sports Illustrated. But I'm telling you, it's very inspiring to uh, take a look at a Rouven picture of Martha Stewart in the ocean here at uh, Casa de Campo and, and see something really gorgeous. I uh, grew up in Nutley, New Jersey, uh, which is a few miles from New York City. I am the second of six children. Uh, the Kostyra children, my father Edward, my mother Martha, Big Martha we called her, even though I got to be taller than she, but she was always Big Martha. The lure of the city uh, was always there for me. I still remember fondly buying woks and bagels at Russ and Daughters. Uh, pomegranates became my favorite fruit when I discovered them in Chinatown at the age of probably five. I was always, I guess, an industrious child. I love to work and I love to create. I think that's another reason why dad liked me so much because I would do anything he asked, just anything. You know, Martha, read the garden. I'd go and weed the garden for hours. And I also love the kitchen. Animals have always been a part of my household. Growing up, we once had one dog, Shiner, but I vowed always have pets. I now have two Chow Chows, two Frenchies, peacocks, 175 chickens, guinea fowl. I have geese, Chinese geese, German geese, Russian geese, African geese, French geese. I could tell you all their names, but forget that. I forgot the donkeys. Oh, Snoop. Let's see. Snoop. Love you coming right up. <laughs> Well, Snoop came on my show, and what was really charming about Snoop, first of all, it was his giggle. He giggles in a very, very nice way. And his um, quest for learning, he is a real student. And that's what really appealed to me. And then when we did the Justin Bieber roast, we sat next to each other for hours. He smoked all day long. We were on a stage rehearsing, 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 and all he did was smoke and everybody was in such a good mood and we were all roasting each other and luckily Snoop uh, secondhand smoke really kind of eased the pain for me a lot. <laughs> and uh, it was hysterical because I just I just felt, okay, you know, I'll, I'll go with the flow here. After like six billion views around the world, it turned out to be one of the best things and it cemented my relationship with Snoop. Steven Spielberg said the nicest thing to me one day. I lived on the same street as, as Steven and his wife. And Steven said to me, I just want to tell you something, Martha. You have elevated the task of home making and home keeping to an art form. I do not believe in just uh, emptying your closets because it's the thing to do. I believe in careful editing. I believe in careful organization. I believe in everything kind of in moderation. And I think that that's what appealed uh, to the vast number of my fans as being the creator of a vast amount of useful evergreen content. I just got a comment on one of my Instagram posts from someone saying, you know, I just watched your chicken coop episode that was from 1999 or something. And she said, it's as good today as it was in 1999. That is what I want to hear. 
because my whole philosophy is to create this content that is the best way to do something, the best way to accomplish a task, the best way to create a craft, the best way to cook a dish. I scour Instagram daily, the reels on Instagram and even on TikTok because I like to see if there is a better way to do something. And if it is, I will adopt it and I will fix it. It's quite an amazing accomplishment, I think, to have created such beautiful content, such useful content, and to celebrate the home and homekeeping in the way that we have celebrated it, making the home really the center of a life. I don't think about age, ever. I have friends who are 90, I have friends who are 20. And that is a very, very good way to look at life because age is not the determining factor in terms of friendship or in terms of success, but uh, what people do, how people think, how people act, that's what's important and not your age. Legacy is what you're doing right now, tomorrow, next week, the week after. Keep it going for as long as you can because it might be better than anything you've done before.